this is 961 and we're looking for the equivalent impedance here and we're given these four things and notice notice here that these are all in parallel so they're all in parallel so we can think of them all being like this in parallel. And we're looking for the equivalent impedance. So we know the equivalent impedance is equal to one over one minus J plus one divided by one plus j2 plus one over j5 and then plus one over one plus j3 so we need to add all of these together so this is the the tricky part So for the first one, we have one minus J. We're gonna multiply that by the factor of one, one plus J over one plus J. This value here is one, okay, that's one. And then here, we're going to have one plus J two. And we're gonna multiply this by one minus J two divided by one minus J two. That is again one. And then we have one over J five. And remember that one over J is equal to negative J. So we can just write that as this value here is just negative j over five. That's that value, that's that value. So that's just point two, uh, or we could just write that as negative point two j, negative point two j. Right, so that's that value. And then lastly, we have our one over one plus j3 this value and we're going to multiply that by one minus j3 divided by one minus j3 okay so by doing this we have here if we multiply these out we would come out with one plus J on the top divided by, on the bottom we get one minus J plus J minus J squared. Okay. So, I think that's what it comes out to be. So that is, remember that this value is one. So that value, it just becomes one over J over two. Okay, so that's what we get for this portion. That's what that comes out to be. Okay, and over here, over here, the bottom becomes five. So we get one minus J two over five. And that is this. 
And then lastly, we have this, and that becomes 1 minus j3 divided by 10. So that's this value here. So let's add all those together. And I'm gonna write them a little bit differently. So this, this value here, we have one over Z equivalent. This value here is 0.5 plus J.5. And our second value here is 0.2 minus 0.4, J.4. And then we have negative uh, J.2. And then lastly, this is plus 0.1 minus uh, J.3. Okay, so adding all these together, we come up with 0 0.5 plus 0.2 plus 0.1. That looks like that's point, point 0.8, point 0.8. And then the J, we have 0.5 minus 0.4, that's 0.1 minus another 0.2, negative, negative 0.1 minus 0.3, negative 0.4. Okay. All right, so since that's one over our equivalent impedance, the equivalent impedance is equal to one divided by 0.8 minus J.4. Okay. So we need to simplify that. Let me write that a little better. 0.8. Now to simplify this, we'll just multiply it by 0.8 plus J.4. So by doing this multiplication, you get 0.8 uh, plus J.4 on the top. And then on the bottom here, that looks like it's 0 0.64, 0 0.8 times 0 0.8 is 0 0.64. And then 0.4 times 0.4 is, uh, that would be negative J squared times plus 0.16. So this J squared is negative one. So we have 0.8 plus J.4 over 0.8, which then comes out to be one plus J.5. And that is the solution, one plus J.5. And that is the solution for the equivalent impedance of 961.